Alright guys, welcome to part 3 of Komodo Linux Security 6.2 or 2013 prevention test. This, in this test we're going to be looking at the zero day abilities of Komodo Linux Security. So to do that I have a pack of malware with 500 samples. As you can see it contains 500 files. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right click scan or context scan on the folder. Let Komodo find as many pieces of malware it can. This will give us a detection ratio also. After it's done, we're going to run whatever programs are left in the folder or whatever pieces of malware are left in the folder and see how well Komodo's behavioral detection can defend against them. So when this is done scanning, we'll take a look at it and see what it found. All right, guys, so the scan is completed. Let's see what it found. Okay, so it says it's found 489 infections. So we're going to tell it to clean it all. And before we do that, let's see what it found. Okay, so it found a couple Trojans. Looks like it got a worm. Lots of Trojans, a virus I saw. I know in here somewhere there's, there's a root kit in here. So yeah, all right, oh, another worm right there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and clean everything. And we'll click Apply Selected Actions. And once everything is done clean, or once everything is cleaned, I should say, I'll be back and we'll figure out how what the detection ratio is. All right, guys. So this it's finished removing all the threats. So let's see what we have what we have left here. Okay. Let me re-enable all the shields here. And see if it removes anything else as we're sitting here. So far we have 24 objects here. So let's grab our calculator. Oh, looks like it's removing a few more things here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it and let it keep removing stuff. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so it's finished removing everything. We'll grab our calculator. We start with 500 minus 20 divided by 500. Give us a detection ratio. Gives us a detection ratio. Ugh, I'll talk eventually. Of 90, 96%. That's pretty good for an antivirus right there. So, now what we're going to do is we have, let me open up kill switch here again. And we're going to go ahead and run about 10 or so of these to see how well Komodo can defend against them. So let me get kill switch open. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So we're going to see how many uh, files uh, Komodo can detect here. So first one we already clicked, and it wants us to run isolated. So we're going to do the default. So we'll run that one, and we'll run this one, and we're going to run 10 or so of these links, or files I should say. So okay, that one got isolated too, moving on to the next one. And we're just looking to see how Komodo reacts. Alright, so it found that one as a Trojan, that's good, so that was packed malware. It looks like it found another one. Okay, that was isolated. And the heuristics picked up on that one, so that's good. All right, so that one, there was a Trojan injector in that one. And that's been isolated. Okay, so that one's been isolated and I think it crashed too. Okay, so that 
Looks like one of them crashed. All right, moving on. I think this is number seven here. That one crashed. Moving on. All right, so that one's isolated. And this should be number nine here. And that one was also isolated. Okay, and it looks like it tries, it's trying to put a rogue on the system here. And we'll do one more here. Let's do, okay. We'll do the last one right here. Okay, that one's also been isolated. So, what I'll do now is I'll let the computer sit a little, bit, sit a little bit here. And if anything pops up, I'll show you guys what popped up. All right, be right back. All right, guys, so I got this message right here. It looks like it's part of that rogue. Um, it's saying that my system it, system detected a potential hazard, and there's a Trojan on it. So we click OK, and yep, we have system advanced care uh, running on the system here. But I think it is isolated here. Yep, it's isolated as partially limited. So it's in the sandbox, which is very good. So that means it's partially, it's limited to what it can do to the system here. So now the way Komodo works is, at least the way their sandbox works, the way I understand it, when I restart the computer, this should be gone. This should not boot up anymore. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to restart the computer because I don't see anything else popping up in memory and I don't see anything else really. My CPU is kind of really just kind of mellowed out a little bit. Um, I'm going to restart the computer, and when I do that, I'll be right back and show you guys what it looks like before I do any scans with Malwarebytes or anything like that. So, once the computer restarts, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so the computer is done rebooting, and that system care is completely gone. It was no longer able to run, and you can see the process list here is also clean. However, we do have a few leftover icons you can see that they tried to drop on the desktop here that have been removed due to the reboot of the computer. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to run a scan with Komodo. And I'm not going to use Komodo cleaning essentials because these tests are designed to resemble what the average user would do with the program. And I just don't think the average user is going to know how to use cleaning essentials. So I'm just gonna run a quick scan with Komodo Internet Security because I think that's what people are gonna see first. They're gonna see that scan button and they're gonna go right for towards that. They're not gonna go to the advanced menu and use that. So I'm gonna run a scan with Komodo first, then we're gonna move on to Malwarebytes, and then we'll go to Hitman Pro and see what they find. So once those are all done scanning, I will be right back with the results. All right, guys. So the scan finished with Komodo, and it didn't find anything. The Malwarebytes scan finished, and it found a Trojan fake alert. So that's that fake antivirus that popped up. And it looks like it's an application data. And then I think this might be related to the fake AV but I'm not 100% sure and then if you look at Hitman Pro it also found the same two um, pieces of malware related to that fake antivirus so all in all um, I think Komodo did very well that's the automatic sandbox did exactly what it was supposed to do 
it isolated all the unknown applications and basically made them inoperable because what it did was made it so that it couldn't access the system's critical files. The files that are needed to constantly open it and register it as an auto run entry, meaning that every time you boot the system up, that fake antivirus would then boot up with the system. Komodo stopped that from happening, and that is awesome. That is great the fact that it can, it, it's actually that powerful to do something like that. And this is just on partially limited. I guarantee you if you were to up the, res up the restriction level to something more like restricted or untrusted, almost none of this malware would have been able to execute at all. It would have just been, it would have crashed. Simply put, it would just crash. Um, so that's basically it. I'll stop rambling on now again. Um, it did very well and I would highly recommend this program. This is a program I use to keep all my computers safe and to keep my entire family safe. I also install this on a client's computers and set it and configure it to be very silent. Since version 6 it has become much more user friendly since version 5. So I'm able to actually put this on um, less tech savvy clients and it doesn't bother them one bit which is very very nice and yet they get the same security so that's it for this review I'll upload it to YouTube now and go ahead